What's up everybody? Got another video tutorial for you guys. Yes, I'm actually making it happen because I don't see any videos about this. So I'm going to go ahead and do you guys a favor and I'm going to sacrifice this camera, yes my G4, and put it on the new Marshmallow 6.0. Actually, marshmallow ain't that bad. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, I'm going to take marshmallow. We're going to downgrade it into our delicious lollipop. I don't know which one should I prefer, lollipop or marshmallow. I don't know. You guys be the judges to decide. You may like marshmallow, you may not. But this video is to show you guys how to take marshmallow and put it on lollipop. So let's get right to it. All right, you guys. I am actually putting my phone back to factory reset settings. I'm doing the KDZ file right now. So I can accept the Marshmallow 24C update. So this is what we're going to do. Right now, my phone's on Lollipop. That's what we're looking at right now. And what we're going to do is how to take this and put it back to Lollipop. So right now, I'm going to take a Lollipop. <laughs> Damn, those marshmallows are good. But yeah, we're going to update it to that. And so as soon as this phone's done with the KDZ, then I'll go ahead and give Marshmallow a try. Alright, now I got the phone back to... Uh, the stock version of Lollipop, and just to show you guys, uh, let's find it. Just to show you guys that the phone is back to official, and it is on Android 5.1. Now I'm going to do this right in front of you guys. I'm going to go to System Updates, and we're going to check for a new System Update. And just want to make sure that I don't get screwed over. It should tell me what version it is. It's supposed to be the latest one that is the 24C. Uh -oh. We're going to have a problem. Looks like I won't be able to do it. That one's the newer one. The 25A. It doesn't tell me it's going to be putting it on 24C. Alright, so I'm just sitting right here. Waiting for this to get done. I'll show you guys. I am downloading the 24C onto my laptop right now. As you guys just saw a little, just a few seconds ago, um, when I pressed a uh, system update, it was actually going to put me on 25A. So to you, Verizon, fuck you. No, I'm not going to do it. At least I do my homework. Now, I am going to post another post to somebody who provided the 24C, and there will also be other posts for the LG Up tool, which I have it right there, two of them. And um, I will be showing you guys how to install those onto your computer. So, yeah, right now, just to make sure my phone or Verizon doesn't try to screw me over, I got my phone on airplane mode. I'm not going to sit there and spend all my time to do the disabled system updates, which those videos will be provided in the description below. Let's go ahead and uh, start this. Um, first things first, you will be getting a tool from this website, if I can find it. There will be a link posted. Let's go ahead and minimize the browser. So we we'll cram it in here, but we're going to get it from this guy here. 
this is the thing that we're going to follow. So, right now my phone is on airplane mode, so I don't have to worry about any bullshit with the OTA. So we're not going to go on uh, 25A. But this is what you need to get. The firmware files. Which is the KDZ. And, um... The other thing is, you, or you can get the uh, LG K, KDZ files. Same thing, you're going to need uh, Verizon drivers if you're using Verizon. Now, just to let you guys know, this video is only for Verizon. If you got a Sprint, T-Mobile, whatever, uh, better do your homework first before you attempt to do something like this. Remember, this phone is on 13B. I am just showing you guys proof that I am going to update to Marshmallow 24C, and then I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade. But just to get this out of the way, I'm going to show you guys how to install the tool. This guy provides the link. You gotta have a social account, Twitter, Facebook, or Gmail, because once you go to this site here, it's gonna ask you to like it before you uh, reveal the links to the tool. And there's gonna be two of them that you're gonna be downloading. You're gonna be downloading the Stone or not Stone Store Frame version 1.14.3 MSI and then we're going to download the LG Up 8994 DLL and uh, we're going to install the DLL first and then we're going to install the tool it says so on here install the drivers then the MSI file for LG Up usually there is a DLL file and LG Up application install the DLL, DLL file then install LG Up so this is the first one. Well, I'm sorry. This is the first one, and this is the second one. So we're going to go ahead and install the DLL. I already did the drivers, so if you guys haven't already, better do those now. But me, I don't need drivers because it's already been done. I've been rooting this phone so many times on my computer, so it, for me, it's not recommended. Is it supposed to pop up anything else, or am I good to go to install the other tool? I guess I'm good to go. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the tool itself. Hey, right, once the tool is installed, you're gonna get this little guy here. And you guys can keep your tool running and everything, but just to let you know, make sure your phone is being seen. It's already seeing my uh, phone. It's already seeing what version it's running. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to grab our files. Now, don't sit there and think, okay, we're going to go ahead and just download 24C or whatever. I'm just showing you guys that I am being serious that I am going to upgrade this phone to 24C. Yeah, we're going to press upgrade. Hey, work this damn tool. Don't need that. Uh, well, yeah, that's how you do it. My tool is located. That tool. My, uh... Okay, I was want to make sure. I got thrown off with that number 13. Uh, right now, I'm going to make sure my uh, phone is going to go and upgrade. Okay, everybody, we are back. Alright, I just want to make sure that I was correct, that we do got to do uh, upgrade, and in order for me to go back to Lollipop, I got to use Refurbish, and it's telling the program that, okay, I'm going to put the phone back to its original state, instead of from um, Marshmallow. So, this program should be able to put the phone into download mode by itself. So, I might as well just get this part covered with, but I'm still going to do the video of me taking a marshmallow and putting it back on Lollipop. So, yeah. No marshmallow, just Lollipop. Yes, what is up with me eating all these damn marshmallows? It's probably either because I love marshmallow, but I, I want to have root, so I'm going to stick with Lollipop. And we're going to download marshmallow. So let's go ahead and start this thing and it should throw this phone to download mode and it will just put Marshmallow on it. And that's how you successfully put Marshmallow 
on your phone. Well, I got two of them now. There we go. Marshmallow on LG G4. While we're waiting, I have a whole bag of these. I went to the store today and I figured I'd just use that as a prop just for jokes. But yeah, there you go. Now the phone's being upgraded to Marshmallow. I like throwing a marshmallow at my phone. Come on, install water. Get your ass in there. Marshmallow is now to that point. Oh, actually, it's on the half mark. I thought I had my phone recorded. That's probably why there was a missing image just to show you guys, but I really want to show you guys that I'm installing Marshmallow into the phone. It won't go. Oh, well, I got to uninstall Lollipop. I'm still in the progress of installing Marshmallow. Marshmallow is busy at the moment. There, it's been downloaded. That's how you download Marshmallow. This is what you can do for fun when you're bored. <laughs> I don't think Marshmallow likes Lollipop. It's like how many operating systems do I have to go through? just to find a perfect one that's stable okay everybody the moment of truth okay at least I see the operating system is different so I'm still in airplane mode I got all this Verizon shit and we're gonna go to about phone software info and there we go just to show you guys the moment of truth, all these fucking marshmallows will stop piling over my phone because they think, oh my god, you're going to actually update the marshmallow? Uh, I'm sorry, marshmallows. <laughs> There's your answer. I am not staying with Marshmallow, okay? I'm going back to Lollipop. It won't come off. Fine, I just fucking did off. I know, I'm trying to make these videos funny when it's a tutorial, but now I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade and put... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that marshmallow, but we're gonna put lollipop back on our phones All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this There will be a link posted below for the KDZ for the 13B as I just uh, Did my homework. I can actually use my 13B that I've actually have stored on here for Let's make sure uh, for my LG G4 so we're gonna go ahead and throw it in here alright so once you get your 13B on here um, I don't know about my camera right here but I keep having problems with it but this is guys this is how you guys gonna go ahead and downgrade it there's no handset connected okay if you got in that problem that's how you fix it in order to put Lollipop onto your phone just like so, you gotta go open up your phone. I've actually declined something on here. Uh, let's go ahead and unplug it. 
and plug it back in. USB connected. Oops, wrong connection. We need the MTP connection. We'll see if it will recognize the phone now. Okay, it will. Because if it doesn't, you're gonna have to open up developer options and enable USB debugging. Uh, to do so, uh, what you do is you go in your settings. It's gonna be full screen now. You go to your settings. You go to about phone, software info. Then we're gonna keep typing on build number until it says you're now a developer. Because I've actually read this, said that some people are having an issue where the phone is not recognized. Then you press OK, and what's grayed out, say that's grayed out, my uh, LG Up can see it, but the USB, what the hell, let's not do that. The um, USB debugging, all you gotta do is check it, then plug in your phone, it'll ask you for permission to connect to your computer, go ahead and hit yes or OK, and then the LG Up tool should be able to see your phone. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys proof of the downgrade. So we're going to go ahead and zoom the screen up. And we're back, y'all. I had to do some homework here again. Um, the, uh, in order to trick the thing, we're going to go ahead until it upgrade. Go to our desktop. And we're going to grab our 13B KDZ file. We're going to open it. And then we're going to close out the tool. We're going to open up the tool again. And right there, refurbished with 13B KDZ file right in precision. So don't screw with anything else. So as soon as you do the upgrade, put the KDZ in there, don't press the damn start button. Even the instructions say so. And then we're going to go ahead and close it out, open it, make sure it's on refurbished. It should be there automatically, as you guys saw just uh, open up and now we're gonna go ahead and start with the refurbished settings and we're gonna put this thing into a lollipop I just almost ate the whole damn bag I must be play. I need to play that game uh, fluffy bunny or whatever it's called stuffing all those marshmallows in your mouth and now everybody as you guys can see we are now downgrading to lollipop I will be right back. So, yay for the lollipop, but sadly, you're going to be eaten once I get done. And now we're going to see if I killed my phone. Sorry that this camera here keeps cutting on and off, but like I said earlier, that's probably why XDA probably kicked this guy out for this camera mod. I'm not going to mention his name or anything like that, but the camera mod for the G3, as you guys can see, pretty much just sucks. I am so close to eating this lollipop right now. <laughs> And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And there is no boot loop or anything like that. I am not going to unplug this phone right now because, as you guys can see on the screen here, that it is still processing. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, now I'm going to show you guys that the phone is back on Lollipop. Phone software. So there's your proof.